there we are. It's a weird Wednesday. So something something weird had to happen. As you can see, we're in my messy sewing room. All right, I'm going to switch you guys around and get you looking at the pieces I've got. So all these lovely little triangles are going to make up the roof on that design. Then there's the little bird and a sweet little sign. So that's the one we're going to work on today. Just some people see the tools and they have no idea what they're going to do with them. So, so back in the day we, we used to use hemostats, but hemostats would open all the way down the neck here. So this is why these are called alligator clamps because they only just open at the end here. And with the old hemostats, what would happen is when people had to put them through these little holes, they would put them in there and then they would open them and then these would tear. So OESD um, came up with these and they're quite lovely because you can push all of this through the hole and then open it and grab the little button and pull. Now some of the um, new designs uh, have a slightly different digitizing. These little loops and these little buttons are more fragile than some and some of the new designs have a slightly different digitizing and they've, they're coming along a little stronger, a little nicer. Um, when you start putting this together um, there's in the directions it gives you that hey Cheryl we have um, if anyone wants to know about the design and they look it up on the OESD website they can go in there and they can see the color charts and stuff this is one of the walls this is the base and that hole corresponds to this base so these are going to have to pull from back to front. There are some designs that look better if you um, hide the pieces inside. So for a while on this birdhouse, I could actually pull these loops to the inside of the birdhouse. But if you take a close look at the picture, you can see they're on the outside. So some of the newer designs, actually, if they're big enough, you can pull those knots to the inside and have a cleaner outside, if that makes sense. So when we're working with these, the tricky bit was, of course, we have to get these through. And we can go further. You want to go further than the alligator's mouth. So you can see I'm quite far up. And now this is the only part that opens and you see I'm not going to force the hole larger or these fragile little loops I'm not going to tear them apart. So if I want to pull the floor buttonette through so I can grab this little tiny buttonette here and I can now pull it through. So we'll get a hold of that. Then we can squeeze and we'll walk this back just carefully. And then we can pop that through. Super easy. And sometimes too easy. And then sometimes the, they would pop back through the hole. Um, some people, there's tricks and tips. Some people like um, to wet them, squish them, and let them dry again. Uh, seems a little too futzy to me. Then we've got these new things. <laughs> some of you of a certain age would not call these button clips. 
but we're going to call them button clips. I'll know if you have a misspent youth if you don't call these button clips. So there we go. So what I can do while I'm working on things and I don't want them to undo themselves, I can just go in and put the little button clip over the end and that gives me an extra set of hands. Right, you see so how that's going to hold that there for me. I had to make some choices so I'm going to see these bright blue buttons on my roof because I made a different choice. This design, as you can see, the roof and the walls are the same color. I decided to kind of go a little rogue and mine are not. My roof is this lime which matches the leaves. So I'm going to have little blue buttons on the top, but I think the two colors work nicely together. So, yeah, do I like that one there? Got to make sure you've got the right ones in the right places. Oh, this one, it's got a big hole in it. It coordinates with the front, so it's got to be in the back. See this one with the big hole? And this one? There's a little bit of doweling that you're going to um, put through here and it's going to come out the back so these two pieces need to be together well opposite because that's this is the front door <laughs> this is the back wall and that allows for a little wooden perch that little wooden perch the little bird sits on that dowel and the little sign hangs from the dowel. The dowel goes through here. That way the little birdie is sitting in front of the door. And then we've got to make sure that's opposite in the back. So the dowel goes all the way through. Let's see. Maybe we'll put a piece of roof together. And the clamp, these little clamps are going to really help. Because <laughs> what happens is you get going around these, this, and you'll do two up and one will come undone. You'll do two up and one will come undone. So just put that on, then move to the next one, then the next one. And the, after a while, they'll start holding each other. Um, you can go in and put a little dab of clear glue. And that helps hold these together for all eternity. And there we go. Uh, it'll take me all afternoon. Well, not all afternoon, but a little while to get that done for you guys. So I'm going to stop there. Hi. There you are. And um, just to let you know some of the little it's and bits and tricks we have. Who knew that sewers needed alligator clamps? But these are by far... In a way better than the old hemostats we used to use. Some people use tweezers, but I'm telling you, they've come up with some new tools that you might enjoy. Loop and tail wand. Sometimes, too, the if your uh, tails uh, don't pull to the back when you're cutting, you can pull them back. And <laughs> then, of course, our button clips. Anyway, you can. Thanks, you guys. Weird Wednesday. Thanks for joining. Uh, we appreciate you. Take care.